Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonPhoto.com, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can watch any video or video stream um, on your uh, Google Chromecast, and this is the official UK version. So, what you're looking at here is is my Chromecast is plugged in; it's all set up. Of, that's all. That's all been done, and uh, I've just switched to the, to the HDMI port that it's in on uh, on my TV. And so what we can do now is, if we then go back to our computer, you're going to have to bear with me with this because it's um, lots of going to be lots of flicking back and forth. Now, if you've been playing around with your Chromecast already, you know that if you go into if you go into a YouTube video and you play a YouTube video, what you will see. Sorry, if you're actually <laughs> not at this screen because it doesn't work in here, does it? But if you're in any YouTube video, sorry and you start playing it, there's an extra little icon sort of there, which is like a little square where you can play it on the TV. And if you click on that, that will then throw it up onto the uh, Chromecast and your telly, kind of, um, which will then mean that you can um, then watch it. However, although YouTube's got it, and um, things like uh, the BBC iPlayer has got it, there's lots of things that don't have it. Um, and so, you know, so how can you get content onto your television if there isn't a Chromecast uh, button on the on the video player? Well, let's just play this a little bit. To, let's click this forward a little bit so we've got pictures so we can see that. Okay, so this is me doing a review of something. Um, so what you can do is the secret is it's all up in the top right hand corner of the screen up here where there's a little square just there and if you click on that button there it then says cast this tab to so what the Chromecast enables you to do is send any Chrome from on your laptop or your PC or I don't know if it works on Mac or not but you've got to be in the Chrome browser any tab you can send so let's click Chrome class dining room and let's see what happens so if we flick up to the big telly, zoom in, and then refocus. There we go. There's the whole screen. And so, if I now click, oop, if I now click play on my um, computer, there we go. It's coming up now. And what I can also do is, I now could now click full screen on my laptop, and there we go. We've got a video at full screen. Now, you'll have to forgive me that I'm showing you videos of me. Um, and you would get sound, but I've turned the sound down so you can't be talking again. Video me, but YouTube is incredibly good at finding copyright content. So if I use other people's videos as examples, YouTube will flag this up. Okay, so you see how easy that is. So any web page that is playing video, um, and so that could well mean um, if you were to say uh, sort of famous ones that don't that you, you might well use an awful lot that don't have the Chromecast vouch. Uh, tab are things like the ITV player, um, Channel 4, um, Channel 5, um, Hulu in America. Um, you can, as long as you can watch the video in a tab on Chrome, you know, and what, what can't you watch your video? You just tap on the little cast button and then you can get your cast to throw this onto your big TV so you can watch it. So how amazing is that? So anything. And what that also means is you can use your your television as a second monitor to screen virtually um, and you can go through and do stuff like that so that that's really really cool and while um see if I, I I'm clicking to say different pages on my in my uh, Chrome browser on my laptop the actual screen up here stays on that original just that tab so you can be watching something on that particular screen while you're doing other stuff on your laptop so that's amazingly useful for all these web video services that don't support the Chromecast yet it means you can watch anything at all but let's not stop there there's a few other things we can do as well because you may be saying well wait a minute I've got content on my uh, computer that I want to watch on my Chromecast but it, it's stored locally maybe you've ripped some films maybe you've downloaded legally some films or maybe you've got home videos that you want to watch now how can I how can I watch them on my um, how can I watch them on my Chromecast well it's incredibly easy all you need to well there's, there's two ways you can write it probably the first way to do this all you need is open up a blank 
uh, tab in Google Chrome and this is the secret you type control O okay and control O means that in this tab uh, Chrome will try and open it and uh, Chrome will try and open anything so let's click on I don't know this but data color spider 4 pro review and again apologize for it being me but you know I can't use any copyrighted content not only do I have to hit open which is down here and now this is going to open and play the video in a whole uh, Chrome um, tab and guess what because it's in a tab I can then click over here and I can cast this tab let's just stop doing what we were doing I can then ca cast this tab to the dining room TV so if I now go through and zoom in back on there lo and behold there's my video that is stored locally on my PC this isn't anything that's coming via YouTube or anything streaming via the internet this is coming from my this is a locally stored on my laptop so this could be a film or a video file music um, anything that a Chrome can open PDFs all that sort of stuff we can then put on our television so how cool is that and this works very very well indeed now it is kind of dependent on your uh, network connection so I guess if you're a long way from your router you might struggle but I was watching um, Thor the Dark World uh, using this method um, last night and it worked very very well um, at some points the frame rate slowed down a little bit for all intents and purposes it was magic it, 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 it's, a, it's a wireless connection between your um, laptop you know and the, the the video files and the films that are on your laptop and your your television without having to pull, plug in a hdmi lead to how cool is that so that's one way of doing it let's go back to the go back to the laptop so let's just pause that as well so again so that's so all you do is just to go through it again so you open up a new tab hit Control o and then you just choose the video file that you want to play you open that particular video file Oop, let's do that here. Control O. Open that particular video file. Say open. It opens just down here. I know it's difficult to see. That will open in the tab. And then all you do is you hit your Chromecast icon, which is up here in the top right hand corner, and you say cast this tab. And so that will work on almost any video file that you've got on your computer. Um, and I think this is, that's absolutely amazing. Now, there is another way you can do it as well, in the fact that if you go over to your um, Chrome button, Chromecast button over here, and then you click on it, one of the options is options. And if you click on options, um, actually no, you don't click that. What do you click on? You click on, sorry, you click on this little, there's a little arrow in the corner. Click on that and it says cast entire screen. How cool is that? So if I click on that, what it's doing now, and it asks me where to send it to, so I want to send it to my Chromecast dining room. Do you, are you sure you want to do this? And now this is only beta, but if I then minimize this, so that's my, that's my desktop, is it not? Let's go up. Gosh, look, there we go. Chrome is nowhere to be seen. This is my desktop we're looking at now. So what I could then do now, is I could go into um, my videos let's just do that and then I could just go into I don't know again I've got to make sure it's just me <laughs> I can't play anything um, that um, could be uh, copyrighted so these are some videos of Fort Brockhurst so I can say so I'm going to open this with Media Player Classic Let's make it full screen. Uh, there we go. It's only a short little video. But how cool is that? So I'm casting my entire screen from my laptop to my television via the Chromecast in beautiful HD without a wire. And come on, folks, just remember this thing is £30. £30 for all this. So that's brilliant. Um, let's do something else. Let's just come out of that. So again, look, these these are all my video files. That these these sort of test ones. And uh, look, there's one of me. Let's open it with, I don't know, um, Windows Media Player. 
So again, again, all that's doing is the Chromecast. There's Windows Media Player. There's me. It's throwing it from my laptop up onto my um, up, up, up onto my big screen TV on the wall. Absolutely fantastic. So let's just shut that down. Let's go back into Chrome. Let's go back to let's stop casting. So you can get that. So there we go. So so to summarise then, if we go back to the laptop. If you want to play any video files on your Chromecast, all you need is your laptop, you need Chrome open, and you can just use Control O to open up a video file and then play it. Or you can go to any web page that's streaming video, um, even if it doesn't support the, the, the Chromecast, so even if it doesn't have that little square icon, you can just click on the icon in the top right hand corner and say cast this tab to. Or, if all else fails, you can cast your entire screen to your Chromecast and watch it that way. So there we go. My name's Rob from robnonphoto.com. I hope that's been really useful and I hope you can get the most out of your um, Google Chromecast. I think they're fantastic for £30. You know, it's money well spent. My name's Rob from robnonphoto.com. Thanks for watching.